Greetings YouTube. I'm here to bring you an unboxing video of The Legend of Korra Bookends from Dark Horse Comics Direct Store. These were limited edition items. As you can see, I happen to have number 674. Also, each box came with a certificate of authenticity featuring the Dark Horse Direct and Nickelodeon brand logos on a high gloss postcard, which is nice for the buyer and is appreciated. Alright, let's get into this product and see what's in store for us. Packaging itself is styrofoam with paper wrapping put in place on the items themselves. Each box came with a base in either Avatar Aang or in my case Avatar Korra. Checking out the base for now, I was able to notice that there was a decent weight to it. The bottom of the base also has additional print on a sticker which also has the authenticity print once again. The first thing I do notice is that the rubber foot is basically torn in half, but since it isn't cosmetic and still functional, I didn't mind too much. Plus, it's only you guys that'll see it, so I'm okay with that. On to the actual cosmetics of the base, there's quite a bit of detail, and I find that to be really cool. The edges and sides have distinct depth of design and the texture was made to feel worn and weathered. The peg insert for the statue looks well defined and deep for security, a big plus for other products of similar builds. As you can see, the elemental symbols are well designed prominent and carved with a decent amount of depth to stand out. Furthermore, the edges aren't sharp or have an edge, but still maintain that feel of possessing an angle. Now, let's get to the star of the video, Avatar Korra. I do like the action pose she has here. The statue itself, in my opinion, has great detail. Even though some of the visual pieces look like additional paint, everything feels raised, so there is in fact many layering designs to her outfit. What I found intriguing was the extra detail to her sleeves. This was unexpected as normally the arms and sleeves of a character get cut mid-bicep, but for Korra, the structure almost reaches her shoulder. Her jacket collar and animal skin skirt are raised with textured fur features. water spout base cuts off just below Korra's waist at the tubes of water we see in the series when she lifts herself out of the water and the way the poly resin blends her bottom half within the water visually is pretty awesome. Additionally, the water base is asymmetrical to provide that unstable swirling effect while also looking somewhat cloudy to imply the whirling effect of bending. The elbows to hands and ponytail are flexible and this is comforting to know since they don't have a high chance of breaking off if something should accidentally bump into the statue. There 
is a tiny piece here. It's either not coated or might have been worn off. But again, I was analyzing this real close, so it doesn't matter to me from a distance. Though I have yet to place Cora on a shelf, according to the Dark Horse Direct website, her eyes are coated with glow-in-the-dark paint. I'll update you guys to find out about this later. Overall, her design and features are wonderful to look at as a fan. Aside from the microscopic findings, Avatar Cora is well-crafted. Finally, it's time to put Avatar Korra in her rightful place in front of the four elements. Also, keep in mind that I'm recording this at a 90 degree angle and Avatar Korra isn't leaning backwards, which further highlights the excellent base support. I love this piece and find it as a great addition to my character collection. For the price paid, it's great work. If you've made it to the end, I truly appreciate you and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it, please like and subscribe. In the words of Avatar Korra, sounds perfect.